everyone, welcome to this tutorial of mcldaz.org. My name is Alyssa and I'm the library paraprofessional at the Ed Robeson Library. So this program is designed just to give you an overview of what MCLD has to offer, what you can do with your library card, and how to use our website to your full advantage. So we're going to go ahead and start with where to find this website. This website is mcldaz.org. You will see that at the top of your screen and it is also on the back of your library card for those of you that have your physical library card along with our phone number and some other information. So through this website you'll be able to put items on hold, uh, renew your items if need be, find out what kind of cool programs we're having, during this COVID-19 pandemic, we are doing virtual programs. So story times, crafts, book clubs, all of those are digital and you can attend from the comfort of your own home. So you'll see at the very top of this website, there's that dark blue bar. And on the right hand side, you'll see that there is accounts, events, a magnifying glass and a question mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on account. So if you have your library card or your library card number, you would type this in now. So let me go ahead and do that just so I can demonstrate. Perfect, so when I log in, it'll tell me my name, the last four digits of my barcode, what library I'm registered at, um, patron code, which is usually um, MCLD resident or something along those lines. That's just to establish whether or not that you pay for a card or you get a card because you live within Maricopa County. Your original date of registration, your expiration date, because your library card does have to be renewed every year and your last activity date. If we send you any messages, you can check them here. Um, contact information and preferences. So you'll see that it has your address. Uh, this is the address to the Ed Robeson Library where I work. You can change your phone number and email address if need be. And then at the very bottom, you'll see change login. So if for whatever reason you need to change our password, password is typically the last four digits of your phone number, but if you wanted to change that to something else, this is how you would do it. So you'll see at the top of the page on the left hand side, it says Alyssa's displays. So this is my staff card, which is why it says that, but it would say your first and last name. It says that I have two requests ready for pickup, so I can do that through curbside pickup. It says login again, but we're already logged in. My checked out item, so if I were to click that, it's going to tell me what I have checked out at the moment. My request, so if I were to click that, it's going to show what items I have being held, what's being shipped, and what's active. So the difference between these three statuses excuse me, is held means that it's ready, it's at the branch, and it's ready for pickup. Shipped means that it's on its way from another library, should be here shortly, and you'll be notified either by phone or email when that item is in held status ready for pickup. And then active means that I'm still farther down the wait list for it, and it's still going to be some time before I get it. So your hold is active, but it has not shipped or it's not held yet. And then you'll see that underneath the first active, uh, there's hold position and I'm 50 out of 77. So there's 49 people ahead of me who will get the book before me. Um, so it, it may be a little while. The other status that I do not have on here is pending. Pending means that it is in at a branch and we're just waiting for a staff member to pull that and have it sent for you. Account balance, so if you have a balance on your account due to a lost item or such, you could pay that here. 
MCLD libraries do not have overdue fines. So any balances that you have are most likely coming from a lost item. And so that is basically the best way to use your account. I always highly recommend that you log in when you first use our website because it makes catalog searching so much easier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click the Maricopa County Library District logo and it takes me back to the home page. So looking at the home page, you'll see that in the middle of the screen there is search the catalog. So I'm going to type in that. And then you can search by title of the book, author, uh, genre. There, there's lots of ways that you can do it. But for right now, I have a particular title in mind. So I'm going to type that in and it's Hideaway. And then I'm going to click search. Perfect. So it'll give you a picture of the book results. It will give you the title, the author. Um, if you have it on request, like you'll see it says number one hideaway by Roberts Nora. You requested this on 7:30, so I already have it on hold. It'll tell you the call number, that's where to find it. And it'll say system availability. There's eight of 70 available. And there's currently 38 people waiting for this title. So if you wanted to know if it's at your registered library, you can click where is it? And this will pop up. So you'll see that a lot of these will say out with a due date. So we don't have it in right now. Held means that it's being held for somebody currently. Holding routing, or sorry, hold routing means that it's being sent for somebody for a hold. And then we do have a couple of them that are in at the moment. If I wanted to get more details, I would just click details. It'll give you a small summary It'll give you the subjects that this book is included in, along with an ISBN number. Scrolling down, you're going to see that Where Is It page again for all the items that we have. If you keep going down, there is summary and more about the author that you can read. Professional reviews, if you like that. If you don't want to wait that long and you're looking for something similar, there is a portion of the record that says suggestions and more. So this will kind of give you um, ideas on what you could read that's similar if you're waiting for this book to come in. Ratings and reviews. Um, Novelists, which is a great um, resource that we have for our customers to use. If you wanted to see what the cover looks like, you can click large cover image. So at the very bottom here, there's one that says return to list. So I'm going to click that. And if I wanted to place this on hold, I would click place request. It's going to ask me which branch I'd like to pick it up at. If I select it, it'll give me tons of options to choose from. If you switched your branch from something that is not where you registered your library card, um, it'll come up with the option below that says always use this pickup location and you can change it at any time, but that way it just stops bothering you. Activation date is today, so I'm going to click submit request. And mine says no because the request cannot be duplicated, however, at the end of this process, it'll say your request has been placed. Then it'll give you the option to return to your search results, to go to your list of holds, or to log out. So I'm going to go to the search results just because I'm going to talk a little bit more about this. So this first one here, that is a regular print book. And you can tell because underneath the picture just has a book. The second one here is 
Overdrive. So it is a digital resource that you have access to through Overdrive. Um, with Overdrive, we have a limited amount of copies that we can loan out at a time, even though it is an ebook. So with Overdrive, yes, you do have to place holds on popular titles in order to get them. The third one here, same title, but below that picture, you have LP, which stands for large print. This item is in larger print, so just be aware of that when you're putting things on hold. And this fifth one down here, below the picture, it says CD, so that is going to be an audiobook. But that is the different formats that we offer this book in and what the icons mean. Now, if you're looking on the left-hand side where it says accounts, my list, there's also one that says narrow your search. So if you're looking for this title, but you want it available now, I'm going to click available now. If you are planning on stopping by the library while we're open to the public um, and you wanted to see if it was there, you could select the library. So I'll choose the Ed Robeson Library. There's popularity. Um, there's the type of material. There are subjects, there are authors, there are series, there are years published. So you can use all these to refine your search to help you find what you're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna go back to our homepage here. And we're just gonna talk about um, what is on the homepage. So on the left-hand side, you'll see that there is a module that says new title. So I'm going to click on that. And we have several different ones to choose from here. I'm just going to click on new books to show you. So these are a list of things that are available for you to put on hold now. And it's not broken up by any age range. So you're going to get anything between kids books to adult books to comic books, things like that. But all you have to do is click the title and then it'll come up for you. Coming soon. So these are new additions to our library catalog. So these are things that may not have come out yet, but if you're anticipating it and you want to put it on hold, you are more certainly welcome to do that. So um, I'm going to click new additions. And then if you just keep scrolling, um, there's tons of things that you can choose from. It'll tell you if it comes in electronic format, um, but all of these are just regular print with the exception of the electronic format. And again, just by clicking the title, it will take you to our catalog where you can't place it on hold. All right, the next module is New York Times bestsellers. Pretty self-explanatory, it's just a direct link. So if I click fiction books, it's gonna take you to the New York Times where you can see what the best, uh, or I'm sorry, what the top books are. Locations and hours. So we have several different branches of our library system that you can stop by and visit when we are not in the middle of a pandemic. But uh, right now we are offering curbside, so that's Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., and then Tuesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. And if you're looking to find a library, uh, you can use the Find My Library option, which is at the very top. But if you know your library, um, like mine is the Ed Robeson Library, Sun Lake, so I'm just going to click on that. It'll give you the address, the phone number to contact us by. Um, the curbside service hours that we offer, uh, library information, so events, if you're interested in volunteering. We have something called Seven Day Express, so these are items that are brand new to our system that uh, people cannot place on hold. So it's literally like if you, if you happen to find the book that you want to read and it's here on Express, it's your lucky day. Um, Citizen Science, which is a special program that we're working with ASU on, um, a link to our Facebook, uh, printing options, and a recorder's kiosk. And then it also tells you all the different uh, libraries that are nearby. So 
So like I said, you, it gives you all that information for each different branch. So I'm gonna move on to the About Us page. If you're interested in our annual report, um, awards, customer information, so I'm just gonna click that real fast because this is actually the brochure that we hand out to new customers. So if you ever have questions about our uh, policies, this is a good place to start. So how do you get a library card? How long can you keep your items? Overdue fines, renewing materials, renewing your library card, all of our different branches. So definitely, you know, take a look at that. And if you have questions, as always, you can contact us. But library service, services, job openings, our mission statement here. Um, policies, news, shelf logic, which is how we shelve and organize all of our materials, um, is a great resource to use if you're new to our system and you're trying to figure out where something is. But definitely, this is a great place to start if you're new to the system, like I said, and you're interested to know what our policies are. All right, we have a public meeting. So that's for the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors meeting and agendas. If you click on that, it will take you to the site where you can view all that information. So Maricopa County and government. So this is going to give you um, tentative budget if you're interested in that Maricopa County as a whole. Um, and a bunch of our partners that we work with, like Arizona Law Library, um, if you need help with Medicare or Medicaid services, things like that. So these are some really good links to look at. Quick links. Um, so AR Book Finder, really great if you have a kid whose school participates in the AR program and you're trying to see if a book is part of the AR program, that is an excellent website to use. Braille and the Talking Book Library, um, email book clubs, Find Help Phoenix, Job Help, Workforce Development, Recorders Kiosk, um, other Arizona libraries that may not be part of Maricopa County Library District. Um, city libraries, unfortunately, are not a part of the Maricopa County Library District. They are a separate entity, so they would be categorized underneath other Arizona libraries. And tax information for when it's tax season. Contact us, so you have Ask a Librarian, our phone numbers and addresses, and a Frequently Asked Questions. Most of the time, questions are found in the Frequently Asked Questions, so always look there if you have any um, questions that you have. Um, ask a Librarian, you will actually be in contact with a library staff member. So you can Find a library, renew your library card, renew items online, or visit the frequently asked questions. <clears throat> um, if you still want to contact us, you can give us a call, and our phone number is listed there, or you can send us um, a form. So if I were to click recommend a book movie suggestion, you can fill this out, send the suggestion, and a staff member will be emailing you back to let you know whether or not we can find that item. Um, Books by Mail is a great service that we offer. Again, you would just fill out this form and then uh, send it on and somebody will be in contact with you to send large print books to homebound Maricopa County residents. But this is a great form to use. If you need help with anything, we're always checking it and we try to get back to you as fast as we can. Perfect, so below that we have LibraryCon Online, which is coming up in September. So that's just some information about um, more digital programs that are happening. There is the Send Me Events in News below that. So it would ask for your email, your first name, and what branch events that you would like emails on. So it's just one weekly email that comes out and lets you know what's upcoming. If you're interested in volunteering, you would just fill out this form, uh, select the branch that you would like to volunteer at, and submit that. 
And again, somebody will be back to you as fast as we can. If you need to renew your library card, you can choose that. It's gonna ask you to log in. And then get a library card. So if you do not have a library card, we have this excellent service called Book a Librarian. Um, you will get a one-on-one -on -one experience with one of our library employees and we will help you get a library card, um, renew your library card, change your address if need be if you have a library card, um, if you need help with digital services, there's tons of things that we can do. Um, so you would just select the date, request a time, and then select what you need help with. With this, it is a um, virtual call. So it is going to require um, a system called WebEx. So we want to see you, you'll see us, and it's a face-to-face -face interaction. So just be prepared for that. Perfect, so going back to the home page, um, we always have featured collections going through. Um, this time is going to be the 19th Amendment since it was just the centennial anniversary for that. Um, below you'll see tiles for curbside pickup, book a librarian, which I just talked about, MCLD Now, which is our virtual program platform, which is how you're watching this video right now, most likely, and then our summer reading program, which just wrapped up. So the next thing that I want to talk about is our event. So if you're curious to know what kind of programs are upcoming, on that dark blue bar at the very top next to account where we started is events. So I'm just going to click on that. And for the time being, I'm just going to click all events because I want to see them all. They're all virtual. They all apply to us. So the day of this recording is August 28th. So you'll see that it's highlighted in yellow. So today we had Adventures in Storytime, Kids Steam, Rock Art, and Women's Empowerment Fiction and Nonfiction Titles. So um, really good to look at, especially if you're interested in a particular baby time, bilingual story time, um, tutorials like this on how to use your library. It's a really good resource to use. So if I were to click on, let's see, the Women's Empowerment Fiction and Nonfiction Titles. It's going to give you the link to where you can view that and give you a quick update on what the program is about. And I, if I click the link, it'll actually show you the, uh, the videos for today's playlist. And you can look for story times. If you're looking for your little ones, you can look for teens. You can look for adult programs. So there's a wide variety here. Perfect, so back on our homepage, if you look at that white bar at the very top, it has the home button, which is searching catalog, your account, your events, and help if need be. You have e-media. So we offer a wide variety of digital content for our customers. So we have e-media, and this is just going to be like a quick tutorial over how to use our downloads and streaming services. Flipster, so this is a really good um, option for those of you that like to read magazines. Freedie, which is a bunch of books that you can read. Freegal is free music that you can download and keep with the app. Gale eBooks. Our ebooks. <laughs> Hoopla Digital, which um, has TV shows, comic books, audio books, ebooks, things like that. Overdrive, um, or some of you may know it as Libby, which is the updated app for Android and Apple products. Um, very good to use, very easy to use. RB Digital is going to be books and audiobooks. Tumble Books are for little ones. Free search, we have a ton of databases, so if you're ever in the market to do some research, you can use our A to Z list, subjects, or online resources. I'm just gonna click subjects to show you all the different um, categories that we go through. And then learn. We offer Gale courses, which are uh, small six-week courses on a wide variety of topics. 
Gail's a uh, small business builder, really good if you have a small business and you're looking to um, build, a, build it up around you. Learning Express Library, again, it is, it, it's not condensed into six weeks like Gail courses, it's more self-paced. Um, but it's just like learning classes. It's really good. They had um, some PSAT stuff on there, ACT stuff on there, so it's definitely worth a look. Rocket Languages is for uh, learning new languages. There's, I believe, 15 different languages to choose from here. And Testing Resource Center. Again, an excellent resource to use. Um, they have a wide variety between high school to college entrance exams to nursing exams. So again, definitely a good one to go through. So this was just a quick overview of mcldaz.org. If you have any questions, you can always contact us using the contact us link on our page or give me us a call at 602-652-3000. Hopefully this was not too confusing, but if you have any questions, you can always feel free to call us. Thank you for attending today's program and we'll see you next time.